Hey guys, Captain Dylan Hubbard here at Hubbard's Marina, and today we're going to talk about how to brine your bait. A lot of people ask how to brine your bait, how to prepare your bait. Today we're going to cover it. Now this would be something you would use on our 39 hour trips, our 44 hour trips, our 12 hour extreme trips. This prepares your thread fins to be used for mangrove snapper. Uh, most of what you're going to use brine your baits for is mangrove snapper, but you can also brine your baits for grouper and some other species too. But it's mainly to get that bait more rigid and to keep more moisture and juices inside the bait. You're not going to brine squid, you're not going to brine uh, many fish like uh, uh, big old bonita. Mostly what you're going to brine are thread fins, cigar minnows, sardines, that kind of stuff. On our boats right now, we're providing thread fins. So today, I'm gonna to show you how to brine a thread fin. First step is starting off with a brine cooler. This is just a fancy word for a bait cooler. This is my trusty bait cooler. Uh, just enough to fit a little six pack in there. Typically, we call them six pack coolers. So this is how we start. So first things first, you get your cooler and you need a little bit of ice. So we got our ice here. We're gonna put in a thin layer of ice don't need much ice, just enough ice to get it kind of started. Make a little bed of ice. Come on over here, let me show you. So you make a little bed of ice. Now we've got our start, starting product ready to go. So from there, now we're gonna cut and prepare our baits. The idea here is when we get to our fishing spot, our bait is gonna be cut, brined, and ready to fish. So this is something on a 39 or 44 hour you would do on the ride out. Typically, once I get on the boat and get past the bridge, uh, I'll start setting up my trolling gear, I'll set out my trolling rods, I might crack a beer or three, and then I'll start working on my brining once the bait has thawed out a little bit. So first step with brining is preparing the bait. Now, you have to remember the bottom of the cooler you're not gonna get to until the daytime bite. On the daytime bite, I'm gonna see more grouper. So what I'll do is I'll prepare some of this bait for grouper, and that's just simply trimming the tail. So I've got one bait there. I'm gonna trim some of them up for grouper. I've got another bait there. And now for snapper, for mangrove snapper, what we would typically do is cut the head off and then trim the belly and then trim the tail. So with mangrove snapper, we trim the head, trim the belly, and trim the tail. And that leaves us a chunk of meat. And this chunk of meat has the belly cavity open. It's got a lot of belly cavity open there. And it's also got some more meat and juice leaking out there. So when I put this chunk of meat into this brine, by the time the ice thaws out and that salt hardens the outside of this bait, I have a more rigid bait that's really packed with juice. When that mangrove snapper comes up and bites on this bait, it's just gonna explode with a bunch of great smelling goodness. And that's what gets the bite fired up. So the idea behind brining is basically you're creating levels of prepared bait. And over time, as the ice thaws, you get this super salty sardine juice solution that by the end of the trip will turn a dark purple or a dark brown and it really makes the bait premium. So we're gonna come on over here real quick. We're gonna pretend like, look in the cooler for me. We're gonna pretend like we have this all covered with bait. So you do a thin layer of ice, just a single layer of bait. You get them all stacked in there nice so they're all nice and level. And I'll, in a typically, I would cover this entire ice bed with a thin layer of bait. And then all you do is you get some salt. A lot of people ask me, well, what kind of salt do you use? Does it have to be kosher salt, ice cream salt? I don't care. I get the cheap stuff, personally. But some people say ice cream salt's the best. Some people say table salt's the best. Iodized salt, I've heard it all. But basically, all you do is put a thin layer of salt over the entire layer of fish. So you go ice, bait, salt, and then you go more ice and another thin layer of ice, and you're covering up that ice bath. So now you've got all your different uh, layers built in there. You've got a layer of ice, layer of bait, layer of heavy layer of salt, layer of ice, layer of bait, heavy layer of salt, and you continue until the cooler is full. Now, as you prepare baits, your belly strips, your head strips, your tails, save all that bait. I always get a little cup 
or a big bucket and I'll throw all the trimmings into one of those. Because a lot of times during the day, if you see a school of mahi swim by, if you see a cobia swim by, if you've got kingfish jumping around the boat, you can throw handfuls of that stuff off the boat. And that makes a great chum line. So always save your heads, your tails, your belly trimmings, and you can use that for chum throughout the day, especially if you're on your own boat. If you're on one of our party boats, not as necessary because we kind of create our own natural chum slit because there's so many anglers out there fishing and they're all using this juicy, smelly, great brine bait. Now, one last time, I want to show you how we prepare our baits. So these are our thread fins. Now, for grouper, typically, I'm just going to trim that tail. So that way I have a nice big old stretch in here and ready to go. Typically with this guy, I'm going to use a single hook and just hook him right through the eyeball socket. He's ready to brine. Now for uh, during the day bite, I might cut some of these a little skinnier. And now I've got a head piece left, but it's mostly meat. And I'll use that during the day for a mangrove snapper. Uh, but it also gives me a shot at a grouper because it's a little bit bigger piece of bait. During the nighttime period when I'm fishing for mangrove snapper, I always do my plug. Cut the head, cut the tail, and then trim that belly. And that's the mangrove snapper special right there. That's the plug. So that plug is going to be what you want to use for the mangrove snapper. We have other videos to show you how to tie the double snell rig and how to rig the double snell rig. Check those out now to make sure you know how to rig this plug after you grind it. Now we talked a little bit about how to brine your bait. I showed you how to prepare the bait, how to layer the bait, all that. Now, once you're done and your cooler is ready, you can slide this cooler up underneath the uh, bench on a 39 hour trip. And by the time you start fishing, your baits are gonna be, your ice is gonna start melting, your baits are gonna be brined a little bit. Now, if it's a 10 hour trip or a 12 hour trip, or you're out on your buddies and it's a shorter trip, you can cheat and brine your baits a little easier by just simply pouring some water in this cooler. A little bit of salt water from your bait well is going to help melt that ice more quickly and get more liquid going in there. The idea behind the brine is you want a super salty solution with all that uh, sardine or thread thin or cigar minnow juice floating around. And that juice and that salt will harden the outside of the bait and soak up all that moisture on the inside of the bait. So the idea is you want this cooler with the slosh. You want a little bit of ice, a little bit of liquid, and a lot of bait and a lot of salt. So you have to have some liquid going in there. So if your ice isn't melted yet, sheet and grab some of the bait well salt water and pour it in your cooler. That'll help that brine solution get right even faster. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Remember, if you're too busy to go fishing, you're just too busy.